Dennis Wayne Hope openly brags about his next escape from prison. The 26-year-old Rockwall inmate doesn't plan to grow old behind bars. Hope faces another 76 years for his armed robberies. Parole looks hopeless to him and 75,000 other inmates that will serve longer sentences under tough new laws. The hardening of Texas prison population is creating a deadly attitude and a security nightmare. Well, what have I got to lose? You know, if you go over the fence or if you do get away, then that's like a parole. A lot of people don't stay out on parole as long as I stayed out on escape. Hope escaped twice, once from the Dallas County Jail, and most recently in a daring prison break last Thanksgiving. While on the run for two months, Hope robbed area grocery stores of more than $100,000. I don't think I've ever seen anybody that has spent the time to plan as he does. Uh, and he's very patient. Hope exercises as intensely as a triathlon athlete. He constantly tests security and the wits of five extra officers brought in to guard him. The Dallas County Sheriff bought a $675 REACT belt to prevent Hope from escaping during court appearances. It works like a stun gun. Hope will wear it around his waist in court and it delivers a 50,000 volt charge for eight seconds to the lower back muscles. <laughs> This demonstration shows how guards use a remote control device to stun a fleeing prisoner. The jail keeps hope in a high security cell, delivers meals to his door, won't even allow him to have a ballpoint pen. So you can take this ballpoint pen refill and make a key and get out of your handcuffs with it. Probably make about six keys out of that. Six out of this. And the metal detector can't detect this. Hope says he's already found weaknesses in new state prisons. It sounds like you're already looking for the opportunity to make a run for it again. I mean, will you be back? No, I'm not, I'm not going to stop trying. And I look at it, if they kill me and I'm trying to get away and they do kill me, well, then the state still didn't get the 80 years out of me. Dennis Hope is disarmingly clean-cut and likable, but the jail commander believes if Hope escapes again, he will kill when cornered. Robert Riggs, Channel 8 News. Twenty-six-year-old Dennis Wayne Hope is fast becoming known as Texas' version of Cool Hand Luke. After escapes from the Dallas County Jail and State Prison, Hope has now embarrassed federal authorities. He snatched a handcuff key off a federal guard during a recent court appearance. So we don't want him back unless we have some assurance that that handcuff key has been recovered or, or has been located wherever he might have hidden it. The feds search Hope's cells and x-rayed his entire body. The key remains missing. Hope makes no secret of his plans to escape. He works out with the intensity of an Olympic athlete in training for his next break. Hope expects to spend the rest of his life behind bars for a string of Dallas armed robberies. He has nothing to lose. If you get shot, odds are you're not going to live past 75 in the prison environment anyway, whether you die of a disease, a stabbing, whatever. The Dallas County Jail considered Hope so dangerous that it assigned five guards to watch him. It bought a stun belt to stop Hope from escaping during court appearances. As this demonstration shows, the belt zaps a fleeing prisoner with a brief 50,000 volt charge. Hope showed us last month how he could make a handcuff key out of a ballpoint pen refill. Federal guards did not use the stun belt or heed the jail's warnings about Hope. He's capable of carrying out anything that he wants to. He has the patience to plan it out in detail. And his personality is so disarming, it is easy to drop your guard if you're not careful. Hope openly shared details of his daring escape from a state maximum security prison last Thanksgiving. He shut off the prison's power and disabled its emergency generator in the dead of night. Hope came back to Dallas and robbed the same grocery store that he was originally convicted for. He outwitted the FBI for weeks, used $100,000 in stolen loot to gamble in casinos outside Memphis and buy JAG. 
And like Cool Hand Luke, he wrote his prison buddies about his newfound freedom and fortune. The letter helped state fugitive hunters track down Hope. The Dallas County Jail is relieved that Hope is no longer their headache. Hope now resides in an undisclosed federal rent-a-jail where he's undoubtedly planning his next escape. Robert Riggs, Channel 8 News. He became known as the Texas version of Hollywood's cool hand Luke. Today, a federal jury made sure notorious escapee Dennis Wayne Hope of Rockwall can never leave prison on parole. But Channel 8's Robert Riggs reports that authorities believe it's just a matter of time until Hope tries to go over the prison wall again. Federal prosecutors called prison escape artist Dennis Wayne Hope a cagey and dangerous one-man criminal machine. The jury convicted Hope in less than an hour on eight charges that carry a maximum prison sentence of 65 years without parole. The jury watched News 8's exclusive broadcast interview subpoenaed by the prosecution. Hope admitted to a daring prison break, armed supermarket robberies, and carjacking an elderly man. I don't know how smart he is because he's in a situation that if he were smart he wouldn't be in in the first place. But I'd have to say as this tour sort of heavy criminal is concerned, I think he's a little bit ingenious, probably a little bit craftier than most you run across. In a desperate move, Hope took the stand to deny gun charges that carried the toughest penalties. Hope claimed he used an athletic starting pistol and BB gun. But Hope, in a deadly serious interview with News 8, had vowed to gun down police or anyone who got in his way. I made sure that if, if it ever they had caught me, I, I'd go to jail on a full stomach or I'd die on a full stomach, one of the two. I didn't plan on coming back. I'd plan on it to be either a shootout, me killing them or them killing me, one of the two. You know, it didn't matter. Last Thanksgiving, Hope shut off power at the maximum security Darrington prison to make his escape. For two months, Hope gambled at casinos outside Memphis with loot from his robberies. After his recapture by Texas' top fugitive hunters, Hope began training for his next escape. Extraordinary security measures during the trial included handcuffing Hope to a special chair. Guards stripped it of upholstery tacks that Hope could pry loose for a weapon. Hope scuffled with guards before the verdict and threatened to stab his court-appointed attorney in the skull with a pencil. Hope will spend the rest of his life behind the bars of state and federal prisons. Hope has already said that he has nothing to lose and is already planning his next escape. Robert Riggs, Channel 8 News. A man authorities consider the master escape artist of the Texas prison system has received 72 years in federal prison for a three-month crime spree committed a year ago. Dennis Wayne Hope escaped from prison last Thanksgiving, came back to Dallas, then held up the very same supermarkets he had robbed before. Channel H. Robert Riggs reports prison guards now brace for Hope's next expected escape attempt. A super maximum security cell block awaits Texas' most dangerous prison escapee. Violent confrontations between inmates and riot gear equipped guards erupt here daily. It's a fortress within a prison holding the worst of the worst of inmates. 26-year-old Dennis Wayne Hope of Rockwall goes there facing 148 years. He has nothing to lose. He's essentially the criminal equivalent of the Energizer rabbit. He keeps going and going and going, um, both in prison and outside of prison. Going and going indeed. Hope keeps in shape for his next prison break. Hope almost escaped from federal custody in the Mansfield jail last week. Earlier, the Dallas County Jail had banned Hope from using ballpoint pens. So you can take this ballpoint pen refill and make a key and get out of your handcuffs with it. Probably make about six keys out of that. A month before his escape attempt, Hope flaunted security weaknesses in the Mansfield Jail, writing, Doors stay ajar because the foundation is shifting and cell doors can easily be opened. And Hope noted, P.S. I'm using a pen. This is the shower drain that he beat the guard with. Hope smuggled in hacksaw blades and seized a control center at the Mansfield Jail. He's extremely intelligent. He's extremely wily. Um, most criminals, particularly violent criminals, are not nearly as intelligent as Mr. Hope, which is really the tragedy here because he could obviously apply himself to something productive and be quite successful. Hope stayed quiet on the trip to Huntsville. 
For 23 hours a day, Hope's only contact with the outside world will pass through a slot in his cell door. You can put me on high security, but I was on high security when I left last time. Robert Riggs, Channel 8 News. The walls of the new Telford Maximum Security Prison near Texarkana hold the escape artist who claims no prison can hold him. After two successful escapes and other attempts, guards take no chances in handling Dennis Wayne Hope. Before leaving his cell, he's handcuffed through a slot in the door. Hope lives under the tightest of security conditions inside a prison within a maximum security prison. It's a place where inmates often sound and act like caged tigers. Hope spends 23 hours a day in a steel and concrete box about the size of a small home bathroom, doing a daily regimen of 500 push-ups in a handstand position. Hope faces sentences totaling 148 years, no chance of parole. Like a growing number of inmates serving longer sentences, he believes there's nothing to lose. When you say that a man's uh, been sentenced to where he'd be locked up the rest of his life, common sense would lead you to believe, you know, what his intentions were. The prison system sent Hope to one of its toughest wardens, Jack Garner. What do you do with a Dennis Wayne Hope who has nothing to lose? My opinion is we lock him up right where he's at and throw away the key. Dennis Wayne Hope should never get out of the penitentiary. Last Thanksgiving, Hope made a carefully planned break out of an old maximum security prison, waiting until veteran guards were home carving their turkeys. Hope sabotaged a backup generator and cut off electric power to the entire 1,500-man prison. He nearly escaped recently from the Mansfield City Jail awaiting sentencing on federal armed robbery charges. Hope says the jail unwisely put him in a cell by a control center where he studied how guards ran the cell block and learned how to spring open his door. That door, I could have come out of my cell whenever I wanted to come out of that cell. If Hope tries to escape from this state prison, he faces something more formidable than its wall. Well, I promise you, if Hope ever runs off, uh, I will be on Hope's doorstep every step of the way. Warden Garner just recaptured an escapee who fled from him a decade ago. The warden carried the inmate's mugshot in his wallet as a reminder that you can run, but you can't hide. Robert Riggs, Channel 8 News.